As I promised you, a video clip on how black carbon circulates throughout the planet. Black carbon is produced both naturally and by human activities as a result of the incomplete combustion of fossil fuels, biofuels, and biomass. Reducing the CO2 emission is really important to avert the worst impacts of future climate change. But CO2 has such a long atmospheric lifetime that it will take several decades for CO2 concentrations to begin to stabilize after emission reductions begin. But in contrast, black carbon remains in the atmosphere for only a few weeks. So cutting its emission would immediately reduce the warming of the planet, particularly in the rapidly changing Arctic. Moreover, reduced exposure to black carbon provides public health co-benefits, especially in developing countries. But regardless which part of the planet Earth you're in, we will all be affected as long as the black carbon is produced and emitted. As you can see, it does travel throughout the planet. So let's do our very best to reduce the production and emission of black carbon.